Hello, it's Andy Graham with the Ask Andy Show. It's uh, I'm in uh, Budva, Montenegro. I might be out of this place before uh, I put this up. I'm only putting two or three up a day. But I'm recording them ahead of time in a way. John R. Ask. Hello, Andy. Hope you are doing well. I wanted to say that I have especially enjoyed the longer videos that you have posted de depicting your walks through the cities of Southeast Europe, foraging for food in the videos of your bus trips. I imagine these videos are a bit more work for you you to do and I hope you do more. They are a lot more work because they have about 20 different pieces but not that much because I, I have learned how to erase one if I did a bad one and uh, how to put them together pretty quick. There is one concern I have and that is the purpose of this email. You have you always give your location and many times mention your itinerary such as when you say you're going to get up early and walk to the bus station at such and such time for safety. Have you considered holding your videos and posting them after you arrive at your next location, such as anyone viewing them won't know your location exact in exact time you're there? We all seen the news about people being nabbed or retribution against the U.S. government, and nothing is done to save them. You're a nice person, and you personally come across in your videos and blogs. I hope he, I hope you are staying safe and well. Okay. Um, any of the ones depicting me going to the bus are posted the next day. The ones me just walking around. Uh, there are times probably when I'm mentioning that I am going to leave the next day that probably get up there too quick. Uh, as far as actually somebody uh, tracking, I I don't I don't think this. You know, I'm not I'm not a millionaire and I'm not rich. And there's a lot of real rich kids around me that are doing some really really stupid things so um, it's about demonstration of higher value there's always uh, these kids walking around uh, with obvious signs of wealth on them that it would be real easy to kidnap and do all these things too and in Europe um, I, I guess I would say um, I'm not that famous for one thing and by the time people connect the dots on a one day notice they really don't have the time to do what you're saying um, I I see your point and but I'm kinda hiding in plain sight in the sense that uh, because I don't live in five-star hotels if I was leaving out of a five-star hotel and I was going into every city and doing what a lot of uh, see a real clever travel writers what they do is they get a free room and they, they have an extremely defined itinerary and then uh, they live for free because the hotel basically gives them a free room in return for them writing a, an advertisement and then they they are in this hotel and because they're in the hotel the, the criminals are not stupid and the people that are uh, it's obviously as long as there's a five-star hotel around me Obviously, you want to nab somebody. You would nab somebody's kid living in a five-star hotel, and then hold him for hostage from his parents. And these kids are walking around at four o'clock in the morning, drunk in their butts, and not difficult to find. And then, um, so generally, I, I see it as almost a. If you weighed all the pros and cons of it, there's it. If I was that famous, yeah. But see, the travel writers that are putting themselves in the ho hotels. See, a really clever one would be in a hotel living for free, then they'd go right to the newspapers, radios, and whatever, and talk to them, and announce they were in town. And I don't do this. I just happened to meet that one guy, and it was all accident. I don't, I hardly ever tell anybody I'm even kind of a travel writer or anything, unless I'm in the hotel sometimes. I tell the owner because uh, they get real angry when I'm making videos, like uh, some reason I'm making fun of them. But uh, I don't see this really as a problem. I, I, I would see it much as a bigger problem in South America and Central America where kidnapping is a business. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, it's a big problem in Central and South America. Mexico's the king, right, uh, of kidnapping. And, uh, but they usually are pretty sure who they're kidnapping before they uh, do it, and they usually do business owners. And uh, I'm not, I don't show to be any of those things, so... 
But it's a good question, and I thank you for your uh, kindness, and uh, appreciate it. Thank you.